According to Oxford Dictionary, graffiti is defined as writing or drawing scribbled, scratched, or sprayed illicitly on a wall or other surface in a public place. But when talking about the term street art, Oxford Dictionary defines it as artwork that is created in a public place, typically without official permission. So how are the two different? The term graffiti dates back to the Roman Empire, when people would write or draw explicit images on public walls. Typically, this writing was considered rude or inappropriate, but other times, graffiti was used for announcements, prose, and even forms of advertisement. Although the Romans were well known for it, they weren't necessarily the only ones drawing on walls. This concept roughly dates back all the way to 2000 BC. Mayans, Vikings, and Egyptians have shown instances throughout history of illustrations on walls as a way of communicating. Both Mayans and Vikings would use their walls as a way of telling stories through illustrations, while Egyptians were and still are famous for their hieroglyphics. Throughout the years, the term graffiti has evolved into a form of expression. Although it is still considered a vandalism, people have grown to appreciate it. In the 1970s, in the 1970s, particularly in the Bronx, people would relate graffiti to gangs or illegal activity. Each gang had a specific tag that would often relate to their origins, hence why most people at the time would look down upon, uh, upon the act of graffiti. Recently, people have begun to show more praise towards the street artists and have even made art exhibitions solely dedicated to street art. I started, I started doing graffiti 20 years ago and uh, I started doing tagging and all that sort of stuff and it's basically just a progression of that and I'm an artist yeah, yeah, yeah. so I love painting artwork, that's, that's, that's why I paint it. I, I, I like people being able to see my artwork, obviously like here it's a, uh, it's a very busy spot, lots of people are going to get to see my artwork so it's, it's good for me and it's, it's nice to be able to give artwork to the public as well. You know? okay. Graffiti is art, or, uh, um, I or think, just yeah? All of it? Why not? Because yeah. you know, pop art is also yeah, art as yeah, well. Yeah. So it's expressive. Yeah, yeah it's okay. a kind of expression. Yeah, and give life to the city. I think. Yeah. We began this Tower Hamlets task. My initial opinion of graffiti was that it could be separated into two distinct forms: the truly artistic graffiti that consisted of these great murals on the walls and the stupid scribbling on property that I could never really approve of. However, over the course of the project, I realized that even those scribbles, I feel, could be considered art. And this really only blurred the line for me for graffiti because you could never really tell unless you take a closer look at all kinds of graffiti whether it's just some people fooling around and defacing walls and stuff versus other people actually expressing their opinions on politics and society as they know it. So for me, the line between what is a form of graffiti that just defaces some and a form of graffiti that allows artists to express their opinion. The boundary between them has only become more blurred. Um, there's not, you know, art is art. Yeah. And, you know, like, if somebody wants to express themselves in whatever way, then yeah, that's, that's, their, that's their privilege and that's their, that's, that's their position. Okay. Yeah. You know, like everyone really appreciates it. People come from all over the world to come to Brick Lane in this area yeah. to, to see the artwork. Yeah, see the artwork, which is amazing. And there needs to be more spots like that in London. Yeah. Yeah. So you need to embrace it rather than trying to fight it. It's most of the time the graffiti is just in the 
city, so all over the trains in Melbourne area. So okay. I don't know. It, I don't really have an you don't opinion. Pay attention to it. I don't. I don't really. Okay. Uh, There's good and bad. I think. I hate the ones that the tags. I hate that. Yeah. I don't think that's art. Okay. I just think that's teenagers being stupid and immature. Um, the ones that, that that do do pictures and do art, I do. Um, I think that's a lot better. Okay. Um, and I appreciate that more. But the tags, people just don't care about anything. They do it on people's houses. They do. They do it anywhere they want. They don't care. So I don't think they have the respect. So I don't give them respect yeah. in so that way. Would you, would you define art as like? How, how would you define it? Public art. Some of them. Some of them look alright, but some of them is very. The entire world has been changed by the impact of the web, so street art has as well. An artist can produce locally, but with the availability of cameras and the internet, they can do their works for their digital spectatorship. Somebody who uploaded a video of the graffiti written by some local author in some place, say in Europe, can provoke a conceptual response virtually anywhere on the globe. Due to this, people from all around the world have become more interested in graffiti and began to appreciate it more by sharing it through many forms of social media and considering it a form of public art. The two cannot be distinguished because graffiti is art and is a form of self-expression. Graffiti should not be disregarded or unaccepted because of its location and illegality. The way in which graffiti art is executed is the only obstacle it faces in being considered an art form. After years of gaining recognition by the art community, graffiti art has been shown in various galleries in New York and London. And artists are often commissioned to do legal murals and other work for art shows.